actually it there's been enthusiasm right because there is a fear for patients to come to the emergency department or be hospitalized uh, for COVID. They hear stories from their other family members and, and friends and the community at large. So when we're able to tell them that in a couple of hours, we can get the infusion done, we've set up a system where you can get, you come in through valet parking, get your infusion, scheduled appointment and go back home. And it only takes a couple of hours and we can avoid patients having to come to the emergency department you can see it can be a game changer for patients. So the monoclonal antibodies uh, for the purposes of COVID patients have uh, shown that if we, if one can give it within the first seven days of symptoms in the appropriate population of patients, it can potentially reduce the hospitalizations as well as ER visits for those patients. Our own data here at UCI Health has shown that uh, in the first 86 patients that we've had with monoclonal antibody, our return to the emergency department is running on the average of about three to three and a half percent. We started out small in our emergency department when patients came in through there. And we have an annex that we had where we had patients getting infused monoclonal antibodies in the ED annex. But as we've evolved the program, we actually moved the operations to a dedicated infusion clinic that has six chairs that we can have patients sit in very comfortably in the outpatient in kind of a closed loop area where patients can come in and out without interacting with other patients uh, because these patients have COVID. And so we're able to infuse 24 to 36 patients throughout the day very easily uh, in that setting. So we've done a unique thing in terms of our uh, screening and triage process. Certainly as part of the EUA expanded use criteria for monoclonal antibodies, there is a checklist, uh, a point scoring system that is published and we utilize that point scoring system. It includes things like age and comorbidities and patients that have above four points without any contraindications would be uh, eligible and they had uh, COVID uh, within the past seven days with the positive test and symptoms, we, they would be eligible to get the monoclonal antibody. Some referrals I've gotten from other physicians in the community that know of patients that they want to refer to UCI Health to get monoclonal antibody. Some have come from health systems, organizations that, uh, that aren't giving it at their institution, yet we are giving it so they refer the patient over from the health system. Some have come from the insurance plan. And some have come from patients themselves that have heard about it and said, hey, would I qualify for this? And so we are working on a much more robust program to help facilitate referrals also. These are different from our internal referrals, which we've obviously got a whole system set up easily for our internal physicians to refer their patients to get monoclonal antibodies. The three things that I think are next steps for us to really optimize our process, one is getting rapid testing into all of our ambulatory clinics around Orange County. If we can get that rapid test done, my vision is that the patient comes in symptomatic, we test them, COVID positive, we schedule them, refer them to the infusion center, get, uh, they come in, valet park, get the infusion and get out all in a matter of three to four hours. In our emergency department in our hospital, we already have the 30 to 60 minute screening test, but we'd like to get it into every ambulatory practice uh, out there. Uh, so that's one. And then the second is uh, messaging. And the third is really what we've talked about, creating the, the referral network that allows for a seamless referral of a patient that is outside of our network.